You're listening to the Balanced Educator Podcast, episode number 168. Welcome to the Balanced Educator. We're your hosts, Kaylee and Josian from EduCalm. Our intention is to equip and empower you to feel more calm, balanced, and joyful in all aspects of your life. Hello and welcome to the Balanced Educator Podcast. We're so happy you're here. Today I am doing a solo episode all about mindful coloring for kids, for teenagers, for anyone in the school system to help them to self-regulate. So there are so many great ideas out there for classroom mindfulness activities. Um, Mindful coloring is one of our favorites. And today we're going to share kind of the what, why, and how of um, doing mindful coloring with your students so that it helps them to self-regulate. And hint, We will have some free mindful coloring pages for you and your students. I will share where you can find them at the end of this episode. Before we dive in, we're excited to share this week's sponsor. Do you want to incorporate social emotional learning and mindfulness into your classroom to support students with mental health, focus, self-regulation, and emotional intelligence? With so much on your plate as a teacher, you probably just don't have time to get trained, develop resources, and teach the lessons yourself. Plus, you need time for self-care too. That's why we developed EDUCOM, to support teachers like you. EDUCOM is a fully bilingual English and French co-regulation program created by teachers. This program provides everything you'll need to build self-regulation, mindfulness, and social-emotional skills with your students through a five-minute daily practice. With EDUCOM, you don't have to be the expert. Just log in, press play, and participate with your students as you all prepare your minds and bodies for calm and focused teaching and learning together. Go to educalm.com to learn more and start using our free resources. Again, that's educalm.com, spelled E-D-U-C-A-L-M-E. All right, let's get into this short and sweet practical episode. So first off, what really is mindful coloring? It is simply coloring in the present moment. Okay, so in mindful coloring, a person focuses fully on coloring. And when the when thoughts of the past or the future or the to do list or whatever, something that happened yesterday pops up in their mind, they can simply recognize that they are no longer in the present moment and then refocus their attention on mindful coloring. So very similar to um, practicing mindfulness, focusing on breathing. When we focus on our breathing mindfully, we just pay attention to our inhales and our exhales, inhales and our exhales. And when the mind starts wandering to other things, um, something that happened the other day, something that's about to come up, something you're worried about, you recognize that you are no longer in the present moment, and then you refocus on the breath. It's, so it's just the exercise of refocusing. Um, so same with mindful coloring, just to refocus your attention on mindful coloring. And we can explain it this exact way to our students um, when we do a mindful coloring exercise that we remind them periodically to refocus on the coloring. So saying things like, you know, if your mind has wandered to other things, you're thinking about um, what's coming up, what happened yesterday, that's okay. Just recognize it and simply refocus on just coloring. It's pretty simple, pretty simple concept, nothing crazy out there, but why, like, why mindful coloring? Why would you choose to do that as your mindfulness activity in the classroom? So mindful coloring 
is one of the greatest calm classroom activities. It's a super simple social emotional learning activity that can help all members of the classroom, including you, the teacher, to find calm and focus and to get the brain and body ready for effective teaching and learning. So mindful coloring helps to relieve stress, anxiety, and overwhelm. It helps students and teachers with self-regulation, and it helps the brain and the body to feel more relaxed. And especially with all people, but especially with kids, it's really a great way to do mindfulness because students or young kids or even teenagers um, tend to get more out of visual classroom mindfulness exercises. So I was just talking about um, the practice of um, breathing mindfully. And sometimes that's hard for kids to grasp because it's really hard for them to just focus on their breath because it's not like a tangible item. Whereas coloring mindfully, it's visual, it's literally a piece of paper in front of them that they can focus on. So the the concept is much easier for them to grasp, right? They're coloring, they're paying attention to the coloring, they're in the present moment. Oh, all of a sudden, the brain starts thinking of other things. Oh, we can now refocus, recognize, oh, my brain is elsewhere, and refocus on the mindful coloring. It's visual. It makes it easy to kind of come back to the exercise, come back to the exercise again, because it's visual. And okay, so before I get into the how, um, also just want to mention that mindful coloring can include um, like coloring a, a coloring page from a coloring book or one that you've created, or one that you'll get from us. We'll tell you where it is very shortly, where you can find it. Um, But it could also just be like drawing would also work. So that's fully up to you. You can switch it up um, from one time to the next, whatever whatever you want to do, or whatever your students want to do. Give them choices. So now, how can we incorporate mindful coloring into the school day in a kind of controlled way and with a controlled approach. So there are lots and lots of ways to color mindfully with our students. Um, I'm going to share a couple ideas today. Um, ask not to overwhelm you just to kind of get you going with this. So one really awesome way that I particularly love because I find it very difficult first thing in the morning when the students come into the classroom and it's just like chaos as they're coming in, like everyone's yelling, they're talking to each other, and there's like no real routine first thing in the morning. I love to start the day in with a very like calm kind of atmosphere. So one great way to use coloring mindfully, and it does take some training with the kids to practice it over and over, um, but it's simply to use it when students are coming in first thing in the morning. So getting students into the classroom routine of like settling in for the day, um, and then right away, they're coloring mindfully until announcements until here we have O Canada um, and just doing that calmly um, you can even include some like music in the background some really calm music like whatever works for you but it's kind of like the concept of um, a lot of teachers when students come in, in the morning um, they read as soon as they're ready they sit down at their desk and they read they read a book. This is a very similar kind of idea. And even you could give students the choice of doing one or the other if that works for you. Um, Not only will you create a calm classroom environment from the very first few minutes of class, you're also getting your students into a state where they are ready for learning, which means that 
after announcements, you're like ready to hit the ground running with with the teaching and learning, which is amazing. So it's like a two for one creates a, a routine first thing in the morning, a calm classroom routine, and it also gets students ready to to learn that gets them in that right state of mind. So that is my favorite way to um, use this mindfulness activity of coloring. Another way that you can use this is similar to the first um, way that I shared, but it's just in other transition moments, right? Like classroom transitions are always tough, right? So if we can slow them down by getting students to color mindfully for, for two to five minutes, either between subjects, so kind of giving them that mental break, um, refocusing, coloring mindfully for a couple minutes between things, between between switching from like, say, math to ELA or whatever it may be, or using it in any other type of transition that you experience with your students. So um, maybe that's when they come come back from recess. Like maybe that's your time where, you know, students are like, it's a little chaotic in the classroom. Um, then maybe we get our students in a routine where as soon as they sit down after recess, they're coloring mindfully. Or another option could be like during the transition of snack time, which can sometimes be a little crazy. Um, you could include coloring mindfully during that time. So that is a second idea for how to color mindfully with your students. Another one is to use mindful coloring sheets as an early finishers activity. So sometimes, you know, when students are done their assignments and they don't have anything to do or they're asking you what they can do and it's like a, a whole kind of classroom management situation where you're like you as the teacher you're trying to work with students who need help but then you have the the other early finishers who are kind of bored and don't know what to do um, this would be a great time to use mindful coloring sheets so when students are done their assignment you can just train them, get them to color mindfully while they wait for their classmates to complete their work. And again, sometimes um, we'll ask our students, you know, to do other, sometimes we have specific early finishers activities. Sometimes we ask our students to read or help us with something. Kind of this is another tool in the the toolbox, right? Coloring mindfully. And especially if it's something that you've done explicitly with them, it's a mindfulness exercise that they will understand and can do on their own and enjoy for a few minutes, right? So the last way that I will share today, there are lots of other ways that we can use coloring mindfully um, in our classroom setting, um, but today I'm sharing four. Um, the last one is simply to add them to your calm down corner if you have one. So um, lots of teachers, and this is mostly an elementary thing, but this would also work great for high school as well to have like a space in your classroom where students can go just to find calm, to relax, to kind of bring them back to a state where they are ready for learning. Um, and a great way to use mindful coloring sheets is to add them to your calm down corner. So just like print out a bunch of them um, so that students can just grab a mindfulness coloring page when they feel like they need it. Um, as again, especially if this is something that you did explicitly in your classroom, um, teaching them exactly how to color mindfully, then it's like a tool in their toolbox that they can use in a moment of big emotions or in a moment where they feel like they need to kind of refocus and find calm again. Again, they won't use the uh, mindful coloring sheets this way if you don't work with them explicitly to learn how to color mindfully. So make sure if you're using them in this way that you've practice this with them. And that's maybe taking, you know, a week and every single morning for five minutes, you just 
practice coloring mindfully to get students ready for learning, to get you ready for teaching. Um, And then just verbally saying, like I said at the beginning of this episode, like as they're coloring, just reminding them, you know, if your brain has wandered off and you're thinking of other things, take notice and just refocus. And you can just say something like these exact words like once every minute. So it just trains them to start realizing when their brain has gone elsewhere, their thoughts have gone elsewhere, and they can refocus. So yeah, once you've worked with them and done this exercise explicitly, then it is a great thing to add to a calm down corner. Um, Students now have the tool to color mindfully to kind of refocus themselves. So I just shared four ways um, that you can color mindfully with your students. There was lots of other ways, but this is just kind of a a get a starting point, I should say. Um, But what a great tool to create a calm classroom environment, right? And we have free mindfulness coloring pages um, and they come with bonus mindfulness posters as well. So specifically, this resource contains five mindful coloring sheets with growth mindset positive affirmations, and then five mindfulness posters that you can then use on your bulletin boards, um, use it as your classroom decor, or add the posters to your calm down corner. Um whatever, however you want to use them, you're the expert, you're the teacher, you're the expert. So the um, five affirmations are really simple in these. The first one is I am calm. The second one is I am strong. The third one is I am kind. Fourth one is I am capable. And the fifth one is I can do hard things. And these are also in they're in English and they're also all en français. Um, si tu enseignes en français, tu peux trouver les affiches et beaucoup d'autres ressources gratuites en français à www.educalm.com baroblique bienvenue. Switching back to English. So for these five posters, you can get them at www.educalm.com forward slash welcome. So that's www.educalme.com slash welcome. And when you click on the link to grab them, um, they'll show up both in English and en français. So you can get the the like PDF ebook with all the the posters and the coloring pages all there in one place. Um, and if you are a full Educalm subscriber, you may have noticed, but we have added over 20 mindful coloring pages sprinkled out throughout the Educalm program, both on the English side and on the French side. As you know, um, Educalm is fully bilingual. Um, But yeah, super exciting. Uh, So far, we're getting such good feedback on these coloring pages that we added almost a year ago now. Um, And now every single time we create a new unit, we're just also adding mindful coloring pages so that you've got a whole bunch to choose from. And that go with the theme that you might be working on um, within the program. So it's so perfect. Um, But like I said, you can get five free coloring, mindful coloring sheets and um, with matching mindfulness posters in English or in French at www.educalm.com forward slash welcome. Um, they'll appear there in both languages, but you can also go to the French side if you so choose. That is at www.educalm.com baroblique bienvenue. So your exit ticket for today is to go and grab those mindful coloring pages and start experimenting with your students. 
And don't forget to let us know how it goes. So enjoy coloring mindfully in your classroom. And before we let you go, just a reminder, if you enjoyed this episode, please share it with a friend or a teacher colleague that you also think would get value from the Balanced Educator podcast or from coloring mindfully with their students. Um, Sharing is caring the best way to get this free content for teachers out to more teachers is for you to share it with your friends. So thank you so much in advance. Thank you so much for sharing this time with us. Have an awesome week. Thank you.